Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over Nuclear, which is a fairly new vulnerability scanner, uh, a, an open source project that came publicly available a couple of years ago. So it is fairly new, but it is getting a lot of traction for many good reasons. So um, I'm going to show you two, I'm going to do this in two videos. The first video is going to be how to install it and another video is going to be how to use it. Uh, there are a couple of things you need to do uh, to install Nuclear and one of them is that it requires Go. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using my Ubuntu machine. So let me come over here. Uh, you could install this on Mac if you want, but I'm going to be running this on Ubuntu. So um, let me uh, come down here. This is the official page. And what it is, is that it is a vulnerability scanner that uses templates to uh, perform the scan. It is actively supported at this moment. And there are, I believe, thousands of templates that you can use. And if you have that that ability to create your own templates you can do that too and it is very very customizable so here it is the official github page where you can get more information about it so let's go ahead and do this the first thing that you need to pay attention to and again i am using uh, ubuntu 2022.04 for this video so if you're going to follow these instructions, make sure that you are running the same operating system. Again, it requires um, it requires uh, Go to uh, to run. So if we come here, let me come over, getting started. So it is going to tell you a brief description of what it is. And it says that it requires the latest versions of Go, uh, as you can see here. But in reality, it works best on Go 1.19. The latest version of Go, I believe, is 1.20.2. So make sure that you download 1.19 if you're following these instructions. So um, let me come over here. I am running on Linux. So let me come down to my version of Go and I'm going to download it 119.7. Uh, that's good enough. So let me download the tar file. And I'm going to head over to my terminal and I'm going to unzip it. Uh, where am I? Okay, so let me go to download, select, and as you can see, my tar file is there. So I'm going to proceed to uncompress it. So tar minus F and then the file name go with that 119 so it is doing its stem it should take just a few seconds to complete as you can see it was successfully uncompressed so here is the folder if you can see it okay so now we are going to proceed to move the folder to the user's local directory so it can be accessed from all locations once we update the uh, the path so let's do sudo uh, move we're going to move the go directory to user local directory. So we'll hit enter and that should have moved the folder. 
So what we're going to do next, we're going to update the uh, path and there are different ways that that can be done. Now we're going to proceed to edit the profile file. So let's do sudo nano, of course. If you want to use another editor, it's up to you. I like nano because I find it easier than the others. And we're going to add the variable to it. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to add, I'm not going to comment on that, I'm just going to add this directly. And I'm going to point to the uh, go files. So I'm just going to be users, local, go bin. Uh, let me make sure that I have this right because I tend to mistype things. Path equals dollar sign path colon. Okay. So it's, it looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Once I saved it, I'm going to refresh the um, profile file. So let me do source and I'm going to point to it again. And let's test if this works by doing go version. And as you can see, we have go 119.7. So with that being said, we're going to proceed to download and install Nuclei. So for that, let me go to the official GitHub repository. Uh, it gives you the installation right from here. So let me do that. OK, this is to install Go. I believe it's this one right here. OK, install Project Nucleus. So let me come over, open my terminal, and paste this. If I can paste on a Mac, which is kind of annoying when you're using the virtual machine. So I'm going to type in the command. I'm just going to pause this. And once I have the command, I'll come back to it. All right, so I got the syntax right here. I'm going to leave this in the description of the video in case you would like to copy and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and clone that. So I'm going to pause the video until this is done. And it's, guess what? <laughs> it's done. It didn't take that long, right? So let me uh, get in here. And as you can see, I have no clear directory. So let me go back. Let me go in there. And I also have to go into the version 2. Then I go into, OK, so it, oh, there it is, CDV2. If I can type CD, CMD. And the last one is CD Nucleus. So I did that so you can have a look at the uh, directory structure that you have to navigate to. And once you are here, we're going to build the uh, Nuclei using Go. So Go build right in this directory. So yeah, this is going to take a few seconds. So I'm pausing right here. All right, as you can see, it finished downloading all the configuration. <clears throat> and here is the file that, I, that we're referring to. So now we are going to, actually, you can run it right from here if you want. You can just do new nuclei. 
Hmm. Oh, command not found because I haven't specified the uh, path for that. So let me take care of that at this moment.